Okay, it's a little late. It's like 1240 after midnight. I decided I want to ferment some zucchini. Never done that before. So I'm gonna give that a try. I already started shredding the zucchini, so I'm gonna keep shredding it. So basically I'm gonna chop it up and shred it. I'm gonna shred it. And I'm talking quiet because everybody else is asleep. give it a try. So there's my zucchini. I'm going to keep that in the pile because I'm actually going to thought about layering it. I may. But then I thought maybe I better mix it up. Anyway, so I'm not following a recipe at all. I will on the brine, but not on the vegetables. So here's a carrot from my garden, so I'm just gonna peel it. And here, where I do, got some compost. I may just kind of break that little leg off. I'm not for sure what kind of carrots these are. The zucchini I grew in the garden this year was they're like a gray, like Mexican um, zucchini. I know I did cosmic purple and carrots, but I also did, not for sure, these are yellow ones. So I think I'm gonna wipe this off with a towel, this peeler. I'm actually just gonna Shred the carrot like that, peel it, instead of grinding it, or using the grater. Just gonna do this, this will work just as easy. Until I get it all done, I think it would, it's just as easy as a process as doing it with a grater since I'm already using it anyway to peel the skin off. One of these days I'm gonna learn how to like video and cut time out so videos can be shorter and you don't have any lag time. pieces of garlic here. I'm going to use my mincer. I am going to peel it that way I can utilize all of the garlic instead of wasting some on the skin when I put it into the, I think I did say, into the um, garlic press is what I meant to say if I said something else. I know that takes time, but I don't mind. I know there's some quicker ways to peel garlic, but I like to do it that way. It seems to work good for me, so I'm going to mince that into this pile here. And then all I have to do is open this up and I can actually utilize this because it has no skin on it. Then I'll do another one. Scrape it off. And 
that's what I wanted to do there. I actually want to do an onion. This would be just a yellow onion that I grew. Like all I grew this year was yellow onions and white onions. I didn't grow any red ones. Sometimes I try to grow red ones. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But that's with all onions with me. I don't know. So, I'm peeling the onions. And if there's a quicker way to peel onions, be sure to tell me. Because I can always use ideas. Then I'm going to put them in this chopper, my handy dandy chopper. I love this chopper. Cut a little bad spot out there. You went. sweet pepper. I'm not for sure how much to put in. One more. I'll save that for something out like this. I could put it all in. What's the point, right? No, I don't know. For some reason I'm feeling like all the quits right there. And I remove my compost. use a spoon. That's quicker anyway. Oh, I hear 
garlic skin. Okay. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that red pepper flakes got to me. Probably should have done this in a bowl too, but you know, hey. It'll be all right. All right, so there's that. And then what I'm gonna do, so it did all fit in that quart jar, so that's awesome. And since it is a quart, um, I bet you, I don't know if it would take like a whole quart brine or not. I need to go get some pure water. So I'm going to measure some pure water, see how much I have here. I have one cup. So one cup is not even a pint. So I think I need to get a little bit more. two cups and if I'm doing a pint of brine then I'm going to do a tablespoon of salt. I use pink sea salt. Stir it up really good. I could have heated it up a little bit, but then I'd have to wait for the, the salt to dissolve, and then I'd have to let it cool down before I put it in here. So I'm not going to do that. Hopefully two cups is enough for this quart. I may put in just a little bit more salt just to make sure we have enough. What I have is two tablespoons per quart, so that would mean one tablespoon. But then I have another recipe that says like one and a half tablespoons for a pint. Water. I gotta 
get all the chlorine water off so it doesn't kill the ferment. Okay, so we're gonna put that down in there so it holds it. We'll put a lid on and we're gonna leave it in there for like three to five days or even longer. You can start tasting it and decide when you think it's ready by your taste. I'll put a bowl under it and put it somewhere out of the sunlight um, because sometimes it might overflow and I will have to burp it, which means opening the lid like this each day to let air out. All right, see you later, bye.